Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland and this is Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily. Plus, only listen when you can siffle cluche ace. So, what I thought we would do is a little visualization. Little visualization. And sometimes I think it's quite useful to be able to have something that you can do when you're alone. Um, but that doesn't take very long. Because, you know, we don't always have time to sit down or lie down for half an hour or an hour, uh, you know, to relax. Sometimes if we're at work, we may have an opportunity to take a break, hopefully. In fact, I think it's legal requirement. Uh, or go to the toilet. You can sit down, close your eyes for five minutes, three minutes, whatever. And so it's a, oh, there's lots of different things you can do to calm your mind down. So, you know, it depends on what situation you're in. You know, you may be feeling the stress in a part of your body. You might be feeling it. You might just feel overwhelmed. So this is uh, a short technique to become underwhelmed, if that makes sense. So to relieve the overwhelmed feeling. So I'm going to ask you to close your eyes and we're going to practice this a few times. Okay. So to start with, just close your eyes. And just focus on my voice to start with. Now focus on the surrounding sounds. So you'll start by focusing on the surrounding sounds. So if you're in the toilet, it might be someone else. That's, I don't know. I think about that, but yeah, it'd be other, might be some sounds, maybe someone washing their hands. Yeah. That's a, a nice thing. But of course you might be, you might be somewhere else. You might be sitting on a beach. You might be sitting on a train. Or, a plane even, you know, so just focus as long as you're not flying the plane. So with your eyes closed, focus on what you can hear. Now there's something quite magical about when you turn off one of your senses temporarily. Now, you know, by closing your eyes, you've turned off your sight temporarily. So you got left, you got obviously your sense of smell, you got your sense of taste, you got your sense of feeling, and you got your sense of hearing. Now, if you're not moving around, if you're just sitting in one position, your sense of hearing becomes more dominant, potentially, depending on how you're physically feeling when you do this. So you can notice what you hear. And then you can move your focus to how you feel. Now this might be a focus that you don't want. You might not want to focus on how you feel physically because you may be feeling crappy. You may be feeling tense anxious, whatever. So you're not going to focus on how you feel for long. And we're going to focus on what can you smell? Again, if you're in a lab, <laughs> a lavatory, it might not be a nice smell. So I don't know why I keep coming back to the toilet, but just notice what you can smell. Go back to what you can hear.
then come back to how you feel, how you physically feel. Just for a short period, without judgment, without, you know, giving yourself a hard time. I should feel this way. I shouldn't feel this way. I wish I felt that way. Blah, blah, blah. So just gently focus on how you physically feel. And now move again. And focus on what you can taste. And this will very likely just be maybe the last thing you ate. You know, you might still be able to taste the the radishes and whipped cream. I don't know, whatever you, you had for your lunch or for your break. Or maybe you just had a, a drink of Coca-Cola or a cup of coffee. Maybe you can taste that in your mouth. As you focus again on what you can hear. might be the same stuff that you were hearing before, maybe something different. What you can smell. Perhaps nothing's changed there. And then focus in on what you can taste. And now we're going to focus on how your mind feels. Just get an idea of what's going on in your mind. Is your mind moving quickly? Is your mind moving slower than before? Is it very active? Is it average? Maybe it's not so active. And then focus on how you physically feel. Just notice any changes. Any changes in compared to how you felt before. Uh, the discomfort you felt before. Notice any changes now. As you now focus again on what you can hear. Focus on what you can smell. Now what you can taste, what you're tasting right now. Focus on what your mind feels like. Just generally, not without, not necessarily, you know, specific focusing on individual things, getting carried away, you know, with the thoughts, but just, just observing from outside. Because you know how your mind is. You know how it was before you decided to press the play button on this recording. So you know how you were thinking and the physical and emotional response that that was creating within you physically. And instead of opening your eyes, I'd like you to imagine... Something, something nice. Could be a beach, could be a, could be just imagining someone that you care about. Just think of something visually pleasant. Because instead of opening your eyes and looking around, it's nice to have your eyes closed. Because it's actually relaxing to do that. But in a real life situation, you know, if you was 
because uh, while you're doing this, you're perhaps lying in your bed or lying down at home. But you could open your eyes and look around, notice what you can see, then close your eyes, notice what you can hear, notice what you can smell, notice what you can taste. And then notice what you can feel, you know, how you physically feel. And then noticing how, how your mind is. And they say it seems to be the, whenever you go back to your body, it's almost like you're a bit further away. I don't know if you feel that as well. It's, it's like the physical, results of the discomfort that you was experiencing before due to uh, excessive stress and tension that was there before seems to have eroded, receded, reduced, just kind of, in any other words that kind of mean the same thing, just moved away. As you observe how you feel, you observe those, that sense of comfort that's been spreading through your body and mind over the last 10 minutes. And it's a feeling that you, you can start to enjoy. You can realize that this feeling is natural for you to feel calm and loose, peaceful. When you allow that other stuff to just be released. When you let it go, you come closer to your natural, general way of experiencing the world, which is in a more peaceful, gentle manner. And you feel more at ease, more able to enjoy the pleasant sensations physically and internally. It's okay to feel pleasure. It's okay to feel relaxed. And it's okay to give yourself permission to have a peaceful mind and to allow your body to let go of any remaining tension or stresses. Just let them go. Let them go. So to recap, in a sense of doing this in real time, maybe, you know, wherever you are, and I'll just go through it again. You can still stay there with your eyes closed and continue to relax even deeper. So in this scenario, you get yourself somewhere comfortable, maybe where there's no one else around, close your eyes, focus on what you can hear, then focus on what you can smell, 
and then taste. Then focus on what you can feel physically. Then go back to what you can hear, what you can taste, uh, smell, then what you can taste. Then focus on your mind, how your mind feels, and go back to how you physically feel. And keep moving from one to the other. Noticing all along that each time you do it, you feel more relaxed. Now, if you want to, you can include opening your eyes. So you can close your eyes. You know, you could start off with, with noticing what you can see. Then closing your eyes, noticing what you can hear. And then kind of turning your ears off as you focus on what you can smell. Then focusing on what you can taste. Then focusing on what you, how you physically feel. And then going back, maybe opening your eyes again. Noticing what you can see, closing your eyes, noticing what you can hear. What can you smell? What can you taste? And then what are you thinking? How do you feel emotionally? And keep by going backwards through these stages. You gradually become more relaxed. And when I say gradually, I mean fairly quickly. It gives you an opportunity to let go of any, anything that you don't need. So if you're feeling, if you were feeling overwhelmed, you can allow yourself to feel underwhelmed. Allow those excessive feelings to just drop out of your body because they're not necessary they're not needed you don't want them so let them go they're not necessary you don't want them you don't need them let them go that could be your mantra you're not necessary you're not wanted you're not needed go as you focus on the tension and those feelings that were overwhelming you before. You can say that to yourself, just focus on those feelings. You're unnecessary, you're not wanted, you're not needed. Leave now. Or go. You can use your own words, of course you can. As you focus on the tension in your body, on your mind, you're unnecessary. You're not needed. You're not wanted. Leave now. And let's face it. Who's going to stick around? Who's going to stick around after that? Who's going to stick around after being told you're unnecessary? You're not wanted. You're not needed. Leave now. Go. And this is just towards the overwhelming feelings. Which can then bring you back to at the very least, neutral, you know, like a, just, just a natural level of whatever you normally are when you're in that situation, maybe at work or wherever. You might, might also find that your level of relaxation really improves and your level of uh, tension or stress almost disappears. The more often you do these kinds of things, the more positive benefits you gain naturally and easily. It's quite cool, really. Sometimes all you need to do is just think, 
just decide. You know, literally just decide you're going to feel relaxed. Let go. Just say the words, let go. Close your eyes, let go. And that's all you need to do. And with your eyes closed, you notice that your body starts to feel more relaxed. Your shoulders drop. Your muscles relax. Your eyes feel more relaxed. Your jaw, the back of your neck, shoulders, chest, stomach feels more relaxed. Your legs, arms, hands, fingers, feet, toes, all feel more relaxed. Your mind slows down instantly. This can all happen within seconds. And the more often you listen to my voice, the easier you find that you will just automatically feel more relaxed just by listening to my voice, regardless of what I'm saying. My voice, my boring voice will relax you. So take care and I'll speak to you next time. Lots of love. Bye.